Let us, uh, you don't have to turn to your Bible because I can read, okay, amen? Okay. Mm -hmm. The book of John, mm -hmm. chapter 5, verse 5. And it reads, After this, there was a feast of the Jews. Mm -hmm. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, having five porches. And in these lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatever disease he had. Now, a certain man was there who had an infirmity 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had, had been in that condition a long time, he said to him, do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, sir, I have no man to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up, but while I am coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, arise. Take up your bed yes. and walk. Thank you. And immediately the man was made well, mm. took up his bed mm. and walked. Thank you, Lord. We love you. We thank you, God. And we worship you. We raise up your name and we ask, oh, Father God, that you enable us today to take up our bed and walk. Yes, Lord. Lord, we love you. We yes. thank you and we adore you. And in your holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Please be seated. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. If you don't sit down, I'm going to preach long. <laughs> Amen? Amen. Amen. The title of my sermon is that you can't be cute and get delivered. Talk about it. Now here is a man, 38 years, sitting there at a pool. And it's funny because he, he knew that... Excuse me, Lord. He knew that if he waited, it would happen. And nothing was asked of him. And sometimes we live our entire lives waiting for a miracle. We play the lottery. Come on now. Huh? Talk about we, it. We, 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 we wait to think something's going to happen. We, you know, because we don't want to change. Right. We don't want to look like a fool. But, but, it, it, but it's so, we don't want to look different. This man was comfortable waiting at, at, at a pool with, with many, many people waiting for the same miracle. But let me tell you today. God is not like that because the race is not for the swift. That's right. Come on, come on. Yes, he allows miracles to come, but he's not going to put you in competition with your neighbor to get blessed because God is able to bless each and every one of us individually yes. if we just believe right, right. in what he says. It's not a gamble with God. He, he's not going to say you were too slow. Come on. He's not going to tell you that, but... People are sometimes waiting for a thing to happen to them yes. in such a fashion that they don't have to look different. Come it's on. okay to sit among sick and dying people yes. waiting for a miracle. They were probably saying, aren't we holy? We're sitting here waiting for something to happen. Come we on. want the Holy Ghost to come down like it came on Pentecost. Yes. We're going to wait until the Lord send us the right one. On. We're going to wait until the Lord send us healing. Why? Because it looks good to wait like that. Because people can look at us and say, that person right there is waiting. Yes. That person is, is waiting for the angel. That person is waiting up for, for this and that. But the Bible says that the that 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 that, that, that um, the kingdom suffers violence and the violence takes it by force. Yes, that means God. if you really want this thing, you're gonna you're gonna go after it. That's you're right. not gonna sit there and look cute Come on, and, and, and talking about you waiting for an angel. That's and right. so many of us go to our grave without the blessing that we're always sought. Why? Because yes. we don't want to be made to look like a fool. Come on. Be made to look like a fool. Sometimes we, we, we think that it has to be the way we want it to be. Yes, come on. Before Jesus came to, to this man, Jesus had, had already been to the, the wedding of Cana. Yes. And the beautiful thing about this people of Cana, they went ahead and did what they have to do, knowing that they would not have enough wine. You see, if you want to get blessed, 
Don't worry about if you have enough money. That's right, that's right. Don't worry about if you have enough money. That's right. Don't worry about how it's going to look if the wine ran out. Let the wine run out. You were there to get married. That's you, right. you were there to right. get the job done. You, 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 you were there for the victory. You're not there to please nobody. Yeah. And the reason why we can't get blessed because we're too busy looking cute because we want to make it look good to everybody else. That's right. These folks got married and didn't care how it looked. They were doing the best they can. Yes. They didn't care if they were embarrassed because they were there for one thing and one thing alone. Come on now. All right now. Be about your one thing and your one thing alone. Yes. Let it run out. You know, go ahead because when you are weak, what happens? He is strong. That's right. That's, That's right. why Jesus showed up and blessed these people. It's not because of Mary asked him. It's not because he likes liquor. He's not a moonshiner. It was because he saw their faith yes. long ago that they were willing to, to step out and step yes. out yes. on faith. Right. Come what may. Right. That's right, amen. It, it ain't no time to be cute. That's right. After this miracle, Jesus is walking along and, and this nobleman. See how, how, how word travels? Real fast. Be, Jesus has did not reveal himself yet. He was only at a wedding and he's heading toward Jerusalem. And a noble man shows up and says, Come to my house. Come down. Come over here. That's right. You see, sometimes we, we want to tell Jesus where to go. Right. Because it looks good, right? Right, right? Yeah, Jesus, get over here right now. Don't you see I'm in trouble? And, and, and who are we to tell the Lord when to come and when to go? That's but right. we're like that because we have an important spirit. Right. Come on. We have a bossy spirit. We're not going to get down to our knees and, 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 and snivel, let the snot run. Like, 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 like even, uh, whose mother was it? Samuel's mother mm -hmm. was in church praying for her son, and she didn't care how it looked. The, the, the priest Nathaniel thought that she was drunk. That's right. Let them think you're drunk. He, the, the, the Bible says that Jesus, the Lord, resists the proud. Yes. And you don't get blessed because you're proud. That's you don't right. get blessed because you're looking too cute. You right. you, you, you're not going to get blessed because you you, you, you want to look good in front of other people. Right. Come on. David danced till his clothes fell off. That's and right. his own wife thought it didn't look cute. Right. Who cares about looking Come cute? On, now, you, you, you got a problem here today. You got an issue today that, right. that, that, that has been dogging you for 38 years. Yes, Lord. Before you was born. But you still want to look cute. Come you on. still want to act like you ain't got no problem. And this man with his proud son came to Jesus and says, Come over here, Jesus. You got some nerve. And Jesus said to him, Basically, you got some nerve because he said, You are looking for signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. You see, you want it to be displayed to you how good God is. Jesus told the man, Go home. Your child has is, 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 is already been healed. Come on. And before the man got home, he heard word that his child was already healed. That's right. See, Jesus still had mercy upon him. You know, how many times have we missed the blessing or missed the move of God because we were too high upon our horse? That's right. That's right. That's right. Now here come this man. Jesus sees him from afar and knew he'd been waiting for 38 years. Yes, sir. He knows you've been waiting for 38 years. That's right. He knows you've been waiting for five years. Yes. He knows how long you've been waiting. He knows that your situation is undone. Don't think he don't know That's that right. it's undone. That's right. Come on. But Jesus really got sick and tired of seeing this man be sick and tired. Yes. And the man was believing wrong. Are we believing wrong for our miracle today? Come on now. Yes. Jesus said to the man, do you want to be made whole? And he's saying to you, and you and you right now, right. do you want to be made whole? Yes, Lord. Hmm? But the man, he didn't even ask you a question. You're supposed to say yes. yes. I right. want to be made whole. Right. You're supposed to believe. Yes. But here was the man. That's what the man said. I got no man to carry me. That's what he said. How many of us are waiting for a man to carry us? Yeah. How many of us that's are waiting right. for a man right, right that's now? Right. That's right. How many waiting for us for somebody to show up with some money? How many of us is, is waiting for, for somebody to move and bring it to us? Yes. How are we like yes. that noble man? Jesus, come over here. Mm -hmm. You know, how sick can we be? And Jesus is here right now. And he's asking you, will you be made whole? But what's our excuse? Mm -hmm. They fired me from my job, Jesus, mm -hmm. so I can't be happy. That's right. Huh? Tell us she don't like me. That's right. So, so I can't have no joy. Huh? Mm -hmm. I don't have no money, Jesus, so I can't praise you. I got no clothes, so I can't no go to church. Huh? That's right. Come on. Huh? Amen. My leg hurt, so I can't praise you. That's what we do. Because mm -hmm. we don't want the blessing. Mm -hmm. We don't want it all. Yes, yes. 
The man, he didn't want to get blessed any way he could. He wants to get blessed like this. Somebody's going to just say, I'm going to bless you today. Don't wait for somebody to come and bless him with some money. Come on. And the man was waiting for somebody to come pick him up and carry him into the water. Yes, he was. So the angel can stir the water. He lost his mind. Yes, he did. Come on, Ain't man. nobody going to come up and pick you up and carry to your blessing. That's right. That's right. The pastor's not going to carry to That's your right. blessing. Mm -hmm. huh? I can't carry myself to come the on, blessing. Come on, come on, come on. Now. You got to realize whether or not you want to be made whole. And yeah. some of us don't. Some of us are like it. Yes. The yeah. man had company. He said somebody to talk to. Talk to He was too. strong. Mm -hmm. And his situation was this. He was waiting by the sheep pool. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was. Right. And the sheep pool was, was where they washed the sheep before sacrifice. Yep. So the water was filthy. Dirty, that's right. Animals wasn't house trained. They're sheep. Not at all. They didn't care. Mm -hmm. they, 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 it, it was in cheap bath water yep. that he wanted to be saved. Rather than get up sometimes, mm -hmm. we rather wallow in our mess. That's right. Yes, we will. Yes, right. We'll wallow right. in the mess today that we're used to. We got the same old problems that, that, that we've had all, all the time. That's right. And we're thinking that, 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 that somehow Jesus is going to see the mess we're in. He is not. Appreciate it. He, he, he's, he's not Santa Claus. He's not a magician. Yes. He's waiting there with power from on high. Yes. It, it, it's a two-party thing. Thank you. It, it's like when you go to, 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 to a wedding ceremony. you got to say, I do, to be married. Yes, right. gonna tell you. Yes. And if you want Jesus in your life today, you got to say, I do. Yes. you got yes. to say it in front of witnesses. you got to say it in, in front of the man of God. Yes. Because it's not a secretive thing. That's right. And if you want to be delivered today, it's no time to act cute. That's right. you got to get up on your feet and say, it Thank is me, you. Lord. Yes. Standing in need of prayer. And Jesus told, commanded him, mm -hmm. what? Yeah. Take up That's your right. bed and That's walk. Right. Amen. Amen. And the reason why Jesus told him thing, he told him to this thing because, because it was his bed that was the man's comfort zone. Alright now. Get about your comfort zone. Throw your comfort zone away. Yes, Lord. Your comfort zone needs you. Pick up that thing that you've been lying on, the yes. thing that you've been relying on, yes. the thing that, that, that you feel is a comfortable yes, thing, God. And, and take a hold of this thing and yes. be in control for once yes. in your life. Yes, you take up that thing and walk. And, and, and you. your bed could be many things. Your, your bed could, 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 uh, could be the gambling hall. Yes. Your yes. bed could be the refrigerator. That's right. Your bed could be the circumstance that you're in. Yes. Your bed could be your fancy clothing, whatever it is that keeps you comfort while you're in your mess, that's your bed. And once you reject this thing, you are free to walk. Your bed might be drink. Your bed might be drunk. Yes. Your dread might be somebody else's body. Right, whatever right. it is, take it up, Pop. And, and, and walk yes. away from the circumstance. Yes. And the reason why it's hard for you to walk, walk to, to walk away is because that's all you know. Yes. That's yes. how you got day to day from 38 years. That's how you've been making it through this life. Come on, so now. it's become a habit. What he's saying, change your habits. Thank you. The, the devil doesn't win against you. Hallelujah. You have the power Thank right you. now, but you, you just won't use it because you're Thank afraid. You. Because yes. you don't want to look odd. That's you don't want to look stupid. You don't want to fail. You, you don't want people to see you doing yes. something that might look That's stupid. Right. Right. You don't want to look stupid, so you'd rather be lame. Yes. Yes. You'd rather yes. be caught up. Uh, you you, you, you be a punk for the enemy. Come because if you think that he got you dead to right, what he's saying is that to rebel against what is holding you. Fight against that thing that's holding yes. you. Yes, Tell it you don't need it no more. Thank and once that yes. man said, believe that he could walk, he got up and yes, walked. He so he's he been did. sitting there for 30 years, yes. 38 years old, and yes. can walk. Thank you. You can walk. Yes, you could. You can, you, you can get through this thing. Yes, if yes. you just get a hold of this thing that's and right. put it in its place. That's right. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, get up. But what if you ain't had no bed in the first place? Mm. Mm -hmm. Talk huh? about that. What if you ain't around a bunch of people, you know, who's like you and give you comfort? Yes. What if you're alone? Mm. Let's let Jacob testify here today. Jacob found himself alone. And it was his fault. 
He had he had tricked his daddy wearing a goat skin. Yes, he did. He had tricked his brother out his his birthright. Mm -hmm. He was a crook. He was a thief. Mm -hmm. He went and, and tried to get a wife, and 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 they gave him the tangle eye one. That's right. That's right. Huh? Haven't you tried to get the thing you wanted, and you tried tricks to get it, mm -hmm. and now it's a disaster? Yes. You see, sometimes when we got ourselves into the problem, huh? We rather stay with the disaster because we think that we deserve the disaster. You don't deserve no disaster. That's right. Because God loves you. Let me tell you. That's right. I don't care if you did it wrong. I don't care if you trick people. I don't care if you hurt people. You don't deserve no disaster. Thank because you. God loves you anyhow. And Jacob believed that he deserved disaster. Mm -hmm. He heard that Esau was coming for him with, with 400 men. Yeah. And, and, and he be, but he remembered, you see, sometimes our guilt of our past and, and our, the consciousness of our guilt can keep us bound just as sure as that man bed kept him bound. That's and right. Jacob had held this all these years, knowing that recompense is coming. And we feel we deserve to be hurt. We feel we deserve to, to, to be treated badly. We feel we, that, that, that we should get what people say we should get. But Come the on. devil is a liar. Yes. Yes. Let, let, let yes. me tell you, God is greater than your yes. sin. If God was not greater than your sin, yes. why did Jesus get up on that cross? That's and right. if you are guilty today... Come on now. Yes. Call out to Jesus. Yes. And, 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 and the Bible says that, that all of a sudden a man came to wrestle with Jacob. You yes. see, here come his recompense. Yes. Here come your recompense. Thank you. Something is coming to fight you. Yes, yes it Thank is. You, and, and, all, and fight with it too. Yes, God. That fight represented his doubt, his flesh. Yes. Fight with this thing. Yes. If you got to fight with this thing all night. And yes. Jacob fought. He said, I don't want to be this way. That's he, right. he decided, I. I I'm sorry. Yes. Help me wrestle with this thing all night. Yes. Don't let it go. Hold on to your guilt and, and say, you. you're going to get the victory over Thank your guilt. You. You're going to get Hallelujah. the victory of your shame. And Jacob yeah. wrestled with this thing all night. Hallelujah. And when he realized that, that, that this is God wrestling him, and yeah. God is wrestling with you, it's nobody else. It's the Lord wrestling with you, and that's why you have some problems. He said, come on now. He said, again to Jacob, will you be made whole? Come on and see if you can take me. And when he realized that his arm is not strong enough to, to fight with God, That's right. you got to realize that too. You, it's not sufficient for you to think you can do this alone. And he was alone and he could not do it. Yes. But Jacob said, bless me. When That's he realized right. that he said, bless me anyhow. That's right. and, and, and he would not let go. Amen. Yes, Lord. That's right. And the recompense that, that Jacob got is that he got his hip knocked out of joint. Yes, he you did. Me tell you, that's why some of us don't want to get saved today. That's why some of us don't want to get, get, get delivered. Because he might knock your hip out of joint. Oh, huh? oh. Huh? He might strike you anyhow. Yes, yes. You me tell you, deliverance is going to cost you. Yes, it is. Deliverance yes. is going to cost you. It's going to cost you your pride. Yes, come on now. It's going to cost you something. The leverage cost Jesus his very life on the cross. Why do we think that we got to get through looking cute? You can't get cute and, and be delivered. And Jacob had, had, had a limp to the day he died. Yes, to he show him that he is not enough. That physically he's inferior. And physically we are inferior to get this thing done. You can't do it. That's right. Bridget. Right. Paul had the same problem. You see, when Paul was struck down the road to Damascus, he lost his sight. Yes, he did. That was his thorn in the side because he, 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 people used to say, we'll give our sight just for Paul. He was a man who could do so much, avid reader, but, but he lost it. He had a problem now. And he prayed to the Lord, to, to, for the Lord to, to deliver him. The Lord said, no. No. It's going to cost you to believe it. It costs Paul to be delivered. Right. Right. It caused Jacob to be delivered. That's right. Yes. It caused Jesus to deliver us. That's right. That's and we don't want to pay the cost because we think it's better to sleep in our bed in front of a messy pool. Come on now, Bridget. But what if nobody comes to wrestle you at night? Mm. Huh? That's right. Suppose the thing you want deliverance from is too late for you. Mm. Huh? It can be too late. Huh? The thing you thought you really wanted to have could be dead. I'm talking about the, the Shunammite woman. Let, let, let's let her testify. That's right. She 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 honored Elisha the, the, the prophet. He would walk by and she said, Listen, my husband, we're gonna go to the room on top of our house, you can relax. 
Okay? She was a giving woman. Right. But but she had something that she thought God would never do for her. Come on you got something you think that God would never do for you right now in your heart. You think that somehow it's too late. That's right. It's, it's too far gone. We you can't do this thing for you. Come on now. And Lisha says, what does she want? Mm, mm, mm. And Lisha says, by this time next year, you're going to have a child. And she said, no. Don't give it to me. Mm -mm. Don't embarrass me. Come on. Don't tell me these things yes. that I can't happen. And, and, and we today listen to the sound of my voice in the same way. Don't tell me that God can deliver me. Don't tell me that God is going to give it to me. Come on. Don't tell me that God is going to grant me these things. Don't fool me. Don't trick me. I don't want to hear it. Shut your mouth. My ears are shot today. He is not going to give me the husband. He's not going to give me the wife. I screwed it up. He, he, he's not going to cure my sight. Huh? He's not going to heal my broken heart. Yeah, he's yeah. not going to put me in, in, in a good place oh. to live. He is not going to send my children back. He's not going to do none of these things because I don't deserve it. I'm no good. That's what she said to the man of God. But lo and behold, the next year she had it. Yes, right. she did. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. And she's and, and, and still we think the Lord will take it from us. Yes. He's going to give you the thing and, and you, you think he's going to take it from us. And, and what happened is the child died. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. The child died. You see, that's why sometimes we won't move. Come on, yeah. Huh? Because, because we think God going to make a fool of us. Mm -hmm. God is going to give us something that we already want and it's a trick. Huh? He ain't gonna give you that man. He, huh? Huh? He's not. He's gonna give you. He ain't gonna give you that job. He ain't gonna right. trick you. Right. Huh? Mm -hmm. he, he's, he's, he's not gonna heal you. Mm -hmm. It's just some medicine, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on now. But yet still, she didn't care how it looked. That, yes. the, the word of God said on a Sabbath, in which you can't do no work, that woman got up on her donkey and she rode to the man of God and she said. Look what you told me was going to happen. Uh, it has gone wrong. Huh? Yeah. She cried out to the yeah. Lord. Look, Lord, what you told me that was supposed to happen yes. is now dead. And the man of God came and, 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 and blessed that child and it yeah. came back to came life. Back. You yes, see, God. sometimes God want to show you that he is able when you think it's not possible. Yes, this, is, this is what a hard headed wants. He's going to do it when you think it's not possible. And even if the enemy step in, huh? Come on, try to take it back, God said he's able to redeem it even beyond death. Yes, it is not yes. too late. Yes. That's right. That's you right. can do this thing Thank if you, you just believe. Thank you, Lord. Now, suppose you're worse than that. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's right. You can have no friends and have no pool. Come on now, talk about me. You ain't having no dreams and no angels coming to visit mm -hmm. you, right? Come on. Ain't no prophet with power showing up at your house. Right. Huh? Trying to bless you. Nobody. Right. And, and, and in fact, the day you were born, they, they, they gave you a bad name. They despise right. you from birth. Right. You can be like that today. Yes. You ain't never had nothing. Come on now. Huh? Yes. And ain't nothing coming your way. Right. You don't even think about having nothing. Right. But if you just do like Brother Jabez did. Let Brother Jabez testify. Come on. He had nothing. His mother gave him a slur for name so that he would be marked. Some of us are marked from birth. From birth. And we don't think it's going to happen for us, huh? Yes. I right. wish, some of us wish we know but there was a pool where the angels showing up. Yes. We'd all be there together waiting. That's huh? right. Waiting right. for the angels. But suppose you ain't even got that. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. so, and, 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 and suppose you, you ain't even had the hope of a dream. Mm hmm. Like I said, that Jacob had. And there ain't no problem. You got nothing. And many of us are in the circumstance with Jacob. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Huh? Jesus ain't showing up. That's right. Come on. Sometimes he don't. That's right. Sometimes he's not going to show. That's right. And he's not going to send an angel. That's right. And he's going to leave you all alone. All alone. And he's not going to send a prophet. Come on. He's not going to send a man of God. Come on. Right now. And there you are. Yes. By yourself. By yourself. Alone. Yes. No one to talk to. Yes. What you going to do? Mm -mm -mm. And Jay, excuse me, and Jabez found himself in a circumstance. Mm -hmm. Jesus had not even been born yet. Mm -hmm. And suppose you, right now you're making that situation where Jesus ain't been born in your life yet. Come on. Huh? You, you had trouble believing that he was born. Right. Born again. You heard it, but you don't believe it. Yes. You can find yourself in darkness like that, and there's nothing, nobody, anywhere to find you at all. Amen. 
You do like Jabez did. And what the Bible said Jabez did is that he just broke down. And sometimes you gotta break down. It ain't no time to be cute. Get about your mascara. Ain't no time to be cute because you wanna keep your manly breath. No right. time for that. Right. And Jay, the Bible says Jabez cried. Yes. And he said, Lord, if you would just bless me. Bless me. Yes. Bless me. If you would just bless me. Yes. If you got something you want done today. Talk about it. And ain't nobody. Right. They ain't coming for you. Right. That's right. They don't want you. Not at all. <laughs> they don't like you no way. Nope. Preach it. That's right. You don't even like yourself. Mm. Yes. That's right. Yes. 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 What you gonna do? Come over to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You do like Jabez. Do you get in your corner and you say, yes. Lord, if you would just bless me. Hallelujah. If you just let your own heart break. Sometimes yes, we got too much pride within ourselves even let our own heart break. Yes. We, we're going to suck it up and still walk through like a fool. Yes, yes. come on. Jabez ain't got no time to look cute. Right. He didn't care if he broke his own pride. That's right. He didn't care if, if he looked nasty. Yes. He was there all alone. Never right, had a sir. chance. Thank you. Never got nothing for nobody. Thank you, But Lord. he said, Lord, if you would just bless me. Thank if you. If you would just enlarge my coat. If you just do something for me, Jesus. And he cried about this thing and the Lord yes. bless him. Thank you. Why aren't you crying out Hallelujah. today? Hallelujah. You, you, it don't matter if you're alone. It don't matter if yes. you're alone. It doesn't matter. Thank you you got to cry out. Let your own heart break yes, today. Lord. Yes. Thank you. Stop trying to be cute yes, and be God. delivered today. Yes, Ask God. him. Yes. Yes, God. Ask him. He'll deliver you. Thank you. Right. Deliverance is here. Yes. Right. You don't have to wait for Jesus. Yes. Thank you. You don't have to wait for our prophet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. You don't have to wait for no angel. In fact, you're a fool if you're waiting for those things. That's right. Come on. You're a fool. That's Sitting true. down, suffering, because you want it to be nice. Mm -mm. You want somebody to come and carry you. Come on now, preacher. Right? Mm -hmm. You want somebody to come and wake you up and say, wrestle me, right? We do. That's want, right. Yes, we do. We, we want the prophet to come to our house and just bless us. And, and, and if they go wrong, we want the prophet to make it right again. Don't, don't we want that? Yes. But it's not going to happen. No. Come on now. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But you got the power. Mm. If you want this thing, let your heart break for it. That's right. Preach it. And it's not going to happen until your heart breaks. Mm. Mm -hmm. The Lord resists the proud. Yes. yes. But a, but a broken and contrite heart will be received. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now you can go to tomorrow if you want to. As you are. You can just sit there, satisfied to to, to jump into a nasty pool. Come on. Hmm? You can be not be able to sleep at night. You could be sitting there and the love you thought you had, a child, children, gone. Or you could stop back in queue today and realize that you need the Lord. In fact, I'm going to tell you the truth. You ain't got no other place to go. Yes. No other place. You ain't got nothing else going for you. That's right. There's nothing, there's nothing coming for you. Mm. Ain't no cow to me. Mm -hmm. Ain't no man on a white horse. Mm -hmm. They ain't coming. That's right. Ain't no million dollars coming. Mm. Ain't no special medication coming for you. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not coming. Right. But what should come. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Is your need. Yes, Lord. What you should hold on to is your need. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. And if you hold on to your need, you embrace that need. Yes, yes. You embrace what you need for God to do. And, and, and you... And recognize it what it is. Thank you, Lord. It's a hole in your heart that only God can fill. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. But if you're not there, you don't understand. But that's for me. I want things done. And I don't care how it look. And I'm going to give you what I got. This is what I've got. Yes. Thank you. Put your knees and ask you. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Let your heart break for this thing. Yes. Yes. And he will do it. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Father, we thank you. We thank love you. you. We adore thank you. Lord. We lift you up. We give yes, you Lord. praise, honor, and glory. Yes, God. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives. Thank you, Lord.
Lord, enable us to, to isolate our need. To admit and to confess to ourselves that, that we ain't got no place else to go. That we have nothing else. That all we ever needed really was you, Jesus. And enable us, oh, Father God, to cry out and say, help me. Help me, yes. help me Jesus. Yes, God. Ah. Let us, oh, Father God, be so humble yes, Lord. to recognize how much we need and, and how much we are behind and how we've lost 38 years. And, Lord, be faithful to bring it back into the world. Lord, we thank you. We love you. We adore you. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Anybody amen. needs prayer, please come up. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Love you today. Deliver God, oh Father God. Yes, God. This is the position that you want to get the thing done. And he says he wants you to be humble. If you got a crawl, if you got a slither. You know, he wants you to realize that you need him. He doesn't need you, but you need him. If you recognize that everything comes by and through God, you will lay it on the line. You'll put it down. You'll take your armor off. You'll ask him to help you, please. To please help you. And he will do it. Father God, I'm asking you to bless him right now. To break down, oh Father God. To humble him. To break the situation down so that the enemy can't have it, oh Father God. So that he should be come forth as pure gold. In your name, God, I'm asking for this blessing. The blessing of brokenness so that he can see you and not see, oh Father God, what he can do. Stand and arise. We thank you, Lord. We love thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Lift your hand to Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes. Yes. Tell me your name. Thank you. Roberta Edwards. Thank you, Mr. Lord. Roberta Edwards, Deacon is missionary. Bless Roberta right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, I want you to go to our house right now. Lord, and the things that are there that don't belong, remove them. The things that are out about Roberta, oh Father God, that you want out, remove them right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I intercede in her behalf, Lord. I want to break through the roof like, like, like the, the friends broke through with the paralyzed man, Lord. I'm, I'm asking to breathe life into the paralyzed sections of her life, of her joy of her happiness, of her belonging right now, that it's unparalyzed save the Lord oh, yeah, Jesus. Yeah, yes, Lord. He just saying get you a Bible and keep it close. He feels you should walk with a Bible. If you just ask him, he will do it, Roberta. Yes. Your life is in your hands. Yes. Save the Lord. Arise. Lord, thank we you. thank you. We yes. love you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Please. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. I'm not going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for your children. Lord, do it right now. Lord, we're asking for a blessing. A blessing on the children, Lord, that they get saved. A blessing on Father God. Her blessing is caught up with her children. And God says he's going to do. God said he's going to do it quickly. God said it's going to happen. He just needs you to ask for your children. If you ask for your children, he says he's going to do it. He said, you got to lift them up in prayer constantly and do not stop. And he said, through your children, he's going to bless you. Lord, I'm asking you right now, oh God, to give her the spirit of prayer. To make her an intercessor for her children. To put her needs aside and only pray for the needs of her children. Because you are the key to what they need. You are the key to what they need. And you are a family. God said, this family shall be reunited. But you got to pray for them. Lord, give it a word of prayer right now. Show her what to do right now to pray for those children, oh God, that they all can be blessed as a family. Lord, we thank you. We love you. We adore you. And in your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Lord, bless my mother the day before her birthday, oh Father Lord. Lord, and, and I can tell you, and we all know the blessing she wants. It's for her children and for her grandchildren. Yes. But I'm going to put them aside. I'm, Lord, I'm asking you to bless my mother. Oh, God. I'm asking you to find even the hidden, unspoken things that she always wanted that she thinks she couldn't have. Lord, this is a shoe of my own. Oh, God. Wanting that thing and, and believe it cannot be had, but it shall be had. Yes, God. Said the Lord in the name of Jesus. He's going to do it. 
and the gates of hell should not prevail against it, the Lord says. Mother, he wants you to believe. He wants you to pray for this thing. He wants you to ask for it. He wants you to, to, to believe in your heart that it can happen. That don't feel this foolishness anymore. You can't be cute and be delivered. Thank you, Lord. God's going to do the thing if you just don't act cute. He's going to bring to your mind the thing that you always wanted. Thank and that's the thing you must pray for. He's going to do it. Lord, bless my mother right now. Enable her to pray, oh God, like no other time, for the thing that she always wanted. Lord said he's going to grant it to you. It's going to come quickly. You're going to have to wait. And it shall not be a bad day. He's going to do something that's going to shut people's mouths about you. It's coming. Save the Lord. Lord, I thank you. I love you. I adore you. And in your holy name we say amen. 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 Thank, you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Brother Mike. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Come on, the old man needs. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Come on, man. Thank you, Lord. Bless Brother Mike in the name of Jesus. Yes. yes Bless Brother Mike in the name of Jesus. Yes. Bless Brother Mike in the name of Jesus. Yes. Bless Brother Mike in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Name of Jesus. Yes. I put the burden. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus, yes, of your own salvation yes, on your shoulders, say the Lord. Yes, you have the key in your hand, and you know what it's supposed to do. You have it because you won't use it. You have everything you need, but you won't use it. He wants you to use this thing. You're the ones that he's going to come hardest against because he's giving you so much. Do it right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, enable him to have the courage to do it. Lord, enable him to, to not worry about what people say or think yes. or how it's going to look, how they're going to yes. talk about him. The Lord said he got something for you that nobody else has. He has something for you to, to make you a power in your own life. He's saying it's you that he wants. Yes. Give him what he wants, yes. the Lord says. Give him what he wants. Yes. And that should be the answer to your prayers. Lord, we love you. We thank you. Bless Brother Mike to have courage, manhood, Let's get this thing done. We love you, Lord. We thank you. And in your holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.